I'm starting off with the outline of the slice of lime. I'm using a technique similar to wet on wet. I'm using Winsor & Newton 24 pan set watercolours with a Winsor & Newton number 10 brush. You can see that I've mixed up a variety of green washes. Some of them are concentrate, some of them are very fluid. In a moment you'll see me start to drop in darker shades of green and I just really like the way that they spread out and you can't control it to a certain extent which I love playing around with. I tend to paint quite a lot of different examples on a page because I feel that's the best way that I learn so I'm doing another slice of lime. A slightly different version you can see I've just touched the edge of that pale green area with the dark green and I just love that effect so I'm playing about with it in this video. This next wedge of lime I didn't quite get the shape right so you'll see me use a piece of kitchen paper to blot it out in just a second because I wanted to try it again and Sometimes that happens and you just have to work with it. It's not a big deal. So I'm now adding a shape that I'm much more comfortable with and retrying with the rind of the lime. Next up, we're moving on to actual whole slices of lime. So I'm creating a circular shape using a very light greeny yellow wash. And now I'm going to add the rind in the darker green and in a moment you will see me drop in a much darker green and I just like the contrast I find it just a bit too flat if it stayed that one shade of green so I'm adding more within that circular area which is still wet so that it's able to spread which I love I decided to do a, another slice of lime underneath. As I said before, I practice a lot of watercolour. I practice with a lot of different food. It helps me within my illustration work as well to understand the subject matter better. And people often ask me, how do you get so good at watercolours? I practice almost every day, but I do really enjoy observing and exploring and I find a lot of joy in this. Just there you saw me use the brush with just water on it just to spread out that green. It was just a bit too harsh and it softens the edge. And again, this is just something that I play around with. I wasn't taught how to do this. This is self, I am self-taught in watercolours. And if you don't know my story, I've only been doing this for about two and three quarter years. So I've learned a lot in that time and I've learned a lot about myself, which is part of the bonus of taking this watercolour journey. This is half a lime and I filled in the rind, the skin of the lime first. Now I'm filling in the inside bits and I wanted to drop in extra green in that area just for contrast. I often use a hairdryer because I can't be bothered to wait for the paint to dry and that's perfectly fine. In this section, I use a Uniball white fine liner to add a few more lines to within the line framework, just the little sections and the pith. So this is a speeded up version of me doing it. As you see me filling in the segments of the line, you'll see that the lines aren't straight, they're not even, and that's one of the beauties. Um, I find that working like this, it just gives me the freedom and helps me to have faith in my abilities and lets me have fun. And it's okay to make mistakes because you learn from them. And I like to work in sketchbooks because it's a record of my progress. Some days it doesn't go right, but when you flick through that sketchbook, you think, ah, oh, yeah, so for next time, I'll remember that the contrast didn't work like this. So I'm going to try it like this next time. And it's just a wonderful way of learning through your own endeavours.